Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the KN Star, or KN Star, or however you want to say that, <laughs> model number RX608 ACW. This is an AM, FM, shortwave portable radio. You can find these on Amazon for around $12.50. This particular radio was donated by Lee B., one of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you, Lee. This is awesome. Um, we have $12 radio. It's still cool. It's got shortwave. It's even powered by AC, too. I love it. So let's go check it out. World Receiver. Here's a picture of not it. <laughs> this one's a surprise. I got a different colored one. Let's see what this is here. High sensitivity. World Receiver. Um, it's got like a built-in handle there. A lion. This reminds me of Sanra. They had to use the same lion motif. All right, let's see here, or logo or mascot. <laughs> uh, same stuff over here. Let's see, ultra long antenna. That's a good thing. <laughs> Battery's not included. Home X, whoever that is, out uh, of New Jersey, made in China. Who would have thought? Same stuff it looks like on that side. Top of the radio. There you go. You got your three choices. Yeah, which one do you think I got? Did it even have it marked? It does have it marked. I, I got the 70s wood grain. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up. So we get in the box. All right, see, this is nice. Bubble wrap. I always like to see that on the radio. There we go. Let's see what else we got in there. Hey, instructions. Yeah, we need those. Probably not, but there we go. Empty box. Okay, so also in the battery compartment, you get an AC cord. This one's not too bad. I've had worse where they're really noodly. This one seems halfway decent. We'll talk about the AC operation in a little bit, but there you go. I think that's giving you the gauge of the wire there. Was it say 18 gauge? Yeah, not sure about that. It doesn't feel like it, but there you go. It worked. <laughs> let's see here. We got operating instructions. Uh, let's see. We got solutions to something. Here you go, operation. You can read all that if you want to. Um, it's a pretty basic radio. There's some uh, frequency ranges for you. Um, there's shortwave. Uh, quite a bit of coverage on shortwave, which I'm surprised. Um, power output. There you go. I think the other side was just uh, if you have a problem, I guess, and care. Because <laughs> we all read that stuff, right? Okay. To the radio. Here's the big beast. All right. So let's go ahead and have the bubble wrap. Here it is. And it's all wood grain glory. Loving that. <laughs> I don't get many wood grain radios. I love this. This is nice. All right, so let's go over dimensions. Uh, six and a quarter inches long, four and a quarter inches tall, by two and a quarter inches thick. So it's thick as a brick. <laughs> I've used that before in other videos, but yeah, it's fun to say. So let's see, uh, size comparison. We'll just kind of bring this up a little bit. So what do I got handy? I got CC Pocket. <laughs> You could fit a few of those CC pockets in this radio, don't you think? <laughs> Love that. Let's see, Skywave. Here we go. We're going to use that as a frequency checker, maybe. I don't know. We'll get to it. I'll let you know kind of how this radio is, how it performs. We'll go over everything. You know, you can't expect a whole ton from $12.50, though you kind of want to try. <laughs> I do, anyway. Um, here we go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves radios that he cannot pronounce <laughs> from China land. <laughs> I had to think it up as I went. Iron Man. All right, you get the idea. It's just a big boxy radio. All right. And the rattling here is the batteries inside moving around. It does not come with batteries. I haven't pre-installed. So let's go ahead and talk about features. I'm just going to kind of zoom it back down here. All right, features of the KN Star. RX 608 ACW FM shortwave AM radio. Okay, left hand side, just smooth black, matte black plastic, it looks like. Um, it feels rather cheap. Uh, front looks like a tweeter, but that's fake. <laughs> I love that little treatment. Got a little sticker here, number one hi fi. Gold sticker, sweet. Uh, yeah, speaker that sounds actually halfway decent behind that cool wood grain paneling. <laughs> it is uh, two and three quarter inches. 
Uh, over here, you saw our uh, dial here. We got uh, FM uh, 108. To eight. Oh, it's going backwards. <laughs> okay, so 88 to 108. Uh, shortwave, we got 3.2 to 10 for shortwave 1, and then from 10 to 22 on shortwave 2. And, of course, our AM band from 530 to 1710. Rolled receiver. Okay, looking pretty cool. Right hand side, we got tuning <laughs> in big letters. <laughs> you know when they say these radios are for the elderly? I think that that uh, will work. <laughs> That's our tuning wheel. Uh, then they got real tiny writing for the band selector. That's pretty funny. Um, bottom position FM, shortwave 1, shortwave 2, AM on the top. Uh, we have our volume on off wheel there. A cool handle. I actually like this. I thought this might have been a little cheap here, but this actually is pretty strong metal. It's like uh, it doesn't move when I try to squeeze it to pull the handle off. So that handle will work well. It's got kind of a fake leather there. Not bad. Liking that. We have our antenna here. The antenna comes up 21 inches and swivels 360, except it stops here. So it doesn't quite go 360. They say it's 360, but as you can tell, there's a heavy lip there causing it to stop. Yay for that, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go look at the surprises on the back of the radio. Back of the radio, we have our frequency chart again. You guys already know what it is. Made in China. It takes 2D cell batteries. I'll show you that in a moment. It also has an AC input for that cord I showed you. It says 110 and 220, but it's open. There's no switch there. Uh, the box is set up for 110. I plugged it in, and I'll tell you about that in a moment. There's a transformer for the AC operation. Behind this battery compartment is 2D cell batteries. I'm using some EBL rechargeables. As you can see, they are positives are going to the left of the radio and looking from the back side. They do move around a bit. Uh, I wish they would have used a little foam on this door, but hey, this thing was $12.50. <laughs> uh, let's see. So the AC, when you plug that in, um, I got bits of paper on here. Uh, when you plug in the cord, this hums. This radio actually, <laughs> it vibrates like your cell phone. <laughs> I'm holding it's like <laughs> take it as you will, right? <laughs> it's just, yeah. Um it ran, it didn't overheat, but it does hum and you do feel the yeah, it, it moves. <laughs> it doesn't move on your table, but you can feel it yeah, happening. Um just I would not trust it um for you guys. So if you get this radio, don't plug it in, just use the two D cell batteries. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Play safe. <laughs> Tune safe. All right, Tatterer tip of the day. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to talk about? Um, I'm thinking FM reception report. Yes, um, this thing excels on FM. Uh, really surprised. Um, it's a DSP radio. Typically, they do pretty well. Uh, this one found 63 stations. So I have a, I go by five tier, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. This falls in solidly above average at good. Most of my analog radios are about okay to good, which is 48 stations found. So pretty spectacular. And they all sounded really good. Uh, and it's it held the stations no problem. And yeah, it was just a fantastic radio in FM. Uh, if you do plug it in, it will be fine for FM, but it's horrible on AM and shortwave. It, the RFI, definitely an issue with the AC plugged into this radio. So, yeah, because, probably because of the humming that I felt and could hear. <laughs> Um, I would plug it in and show you guys, or let, let you try to listen, but it's you got to put it next to your ear. It's there, but it, the mic may not pick it up. Um, so yeah, that's the FM reception reports. FM selectivity was good also. It did find some faint stations, uh, and it had good selectivity between strong stations. I was picking up stations that I normally can't uh, between two stronger stations, which I thought that was pretty nice. So it surprised me. Like when I was tuning in, I'm like, what's this station? Never heard this before. And it was a new FM station. I really couldn't tune in downstairs here, but I was able to with this thing. So awesome. FM all day long on this thing. When it comes to daytime medium wave, not so much. Um, local stations are clear and strong, except so strong that this speaker pops and crackles because the AGC circuit on medium wave must be overdriven. So you have pop and crackle on strong locals. Now, when you tune it to a semi-local station, it will smooth out and you won't have that pop crackle. On fade stations, forget it. They just fade away, uh, even on daytime. It's very, very annoying. <laughs> Same with shortwave. Uh, you don't get the snap crackle pop so much, just a lot of fading and very difficult to tune in during the day. I might have got a couple stations. Uh, I think I got 10 megahertz down here at 8.8. .8. But the big thing is, is that it's difficult to tune on shortwave. Just, again, putting it out there. It's a $12 radio again. <laughs> it's a budget. Budget brick. So, let's go ahead. I mean, I'm enjoying the radio still. It's still a fun thing to tune around with. 
So we'll go ahead and turn it on and uh, do some Radio Totterbert. A little distorted here, let me get on station. There we go. Now what Radio Totterbert is, because a lot of people don't understand this, they must uh, not listen to me as I talk about it, but here is a transmitter I use. It's an FM transmitter by C-Crane called FM Transmitter 2. You can adjust the frequency by hitting these buttons. See it change? And here's the uh, output. It's plugged into a MP3 player broadcasting with this antenna on 97.7 MHz, royalty-free music from YouTube. So you get an idea what this sounds like. Compare it to my other videos, I play the same songs, so you have an idea on each song how it sounds on different radios. It's worth doing. So there you go. We'll go ahead and fire this up. Let this run for a few minutes. There you go, you got an idea for the audio. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn those off. Yeah, it's a good little thing I like to do. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna tune to shortwave. I'm gonna just turn that off. We're gonna go to shortwave one because we're at evening time. Um, let's see here, we'll go to the bottom of the band. Start 3.2 megahertz, sweet. I heard some brother stare the other night. Yeah, he's on every freaking frequency in the evening. Um, current time is 1014. PM Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Just add five hours to that time for UTC. Give you an idea. So let's go ahead. I have a wire. Let me see if I can get to it. Um, all right. Yeah, stuff all over it. Great. Okay, here it is. So I have a PL380 wire um, from a Texan radio. And I'm just going to clip that to the antenna mast. That'll give us hopefully some decent reception downstairs here in the evening. It seemed to work when I was doing this before. Let me just see if I can get that second segment out there we go clip this on i'm going to retract this back in all right and we'll tune this up and hear what we can hear all right Single side band. Wearing these masks. 
mask. There's absolutely nothing to protect you from COVID-19 or anything else. It's total virtue signaling to show that you're prepared for forced inoculations and contact tracing of their openly uh, announcing. It's an act of submission. It's an act of... Quite a bit of music. As you can tell, it's tricky to tune. It's rewarding when you find stations. Again, $12.50. <laughs> Keep like, bumping us. Okay, there we go. Gotta go ever so slow. There's our buddy. Tons of uh, stations are, yeah, having fun to you know, dial these in. Ya ha hecho la Iglesia Católica, lo cual nos está hablando de un recorrido muy largo si tenemos en cuenta que la primera condena es de Clemente XII y de 1738. Pocas cosas han sido condenadas más veces que más reiteradamente que la masonería. Like going on. Están buscando eh, formas de, de, pro, de promover eh, la producción y, y los servicios. Eh, eh, ya por fin están teniendo que eh, unirse o darle más posibilidades. <tose> A little bit of popping there, a little bit of crackling. It's definitely AGC, I think. Because you don't get that on FM at all. Segunda edición de esas operaciones y acaben con los intendentes porque se les fue la mano. 
Entonces, yo creo que la cuestión... Run. <laughs> that would bless the world. Look around, that's done here with the shortwave. Coordinated universal time. Yeah, here's just WWE down here. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. A little quicker here. So I think that calibration's off on that. Okay, so there you go. You got a taste for the shortwave. Nice. It works. Uh, like I said, some snap, crackle, pop, as you heard. Uh, it's not as bad as it is during the day on strong locals on medium wave. We'll go ahead and go to medium wave now or AM all the way up. Okay. Let's start at the bottom of the AM band. All right. Turn this on. We'll do a quick stroll through it. Like I said, daytime wasn't the best. Let's see what it can pick up at night. Five forty to be UK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Egocentric DC is now. I'm I'm just a home. Jeez, volumes all the way jamming. <laughs> uh, Five sixty WIND Chicago. The, uh, the you can hear a little bit of birdie tones too. Some harmonics or some internal generated noise. DC elite crazy that they are here and they forget that there is life outside of right. DC. And Jerry Nadler said. Okay, sometimes you can tune it up a little bit. Since it's stepped, you might. Uh, center the frequency better and eliminate that it is to think somehow that whatever is existing outside of dc doesn't actually exist it's a myth and we don't care and he thinks that that's just some kind of Hit, swing and a miss that was the splitter and after allowing the first two runners to reach base first and 620 wtmj milwaukee wisconsin Six, the Brewers fall in Pittsburgh. Series is now even at a game of games. Rubber game match coming up. Okay, the, the country music. As you can hear how it tries to come in and out. It can't lock on the signal very well. Uh, 6.30 CF CFCO Chatham, Ontario. Um, that's, uh, I forget, a couple hundred miles away. I always forget that one. Uh, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. The fact that it's getting it is good, but it doesn't lock on. What's well, stronger? He was extraordinary, that's for sure. And when he was clicking on all eight cylinders, nobody could touch him. I got to see him 650 time, Nashville, like Tennessee. WSM. That's all. But he came out and he entertained as hard 434 as miles. in that audience. And I was sitting probably about six feet. I want me sharing that or saying that, but that's what they've done and that's what they've done for years. But my only point is, and thank you, Marco, for calling up from Charlotte, I don't care what city it is. You're not going to guarantee. 670 the score, Chicago. Stay in a hotel in any city. 11 home runs, 5 in the first. And Reds look at it means it's home improvement season. Senior had a 5 hit day. Reds homers from Rose, Bench. 700 uh, WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles, trying to lock in. Braves 4 to 2 in 17 innings in Atlanta. 17 innings. Rolando Rooms had 12 foot outs. Let me try something here. Let's bring a loop down. I got a passive loop. We'll bring a Turk in just to see if it's going to help and then uh, give you an idea. So here's our loop. Maybe it'll help that uh, fading. Yeah, happening on this date in West. There you go. All right. Oh, 
Nick has broken loose in, in Houston tonight. This, um, I don't want to say it's a good old good one. There's no punches that have been thrown, but we wondered what would happen. Okay, so as you increase the gain, you get the crackle pops. Okay, nice to know. Move that off the table there. 0 Their network of attorneys and their agents are available to speak to you now. If you're behind on your mortgage payments, for So this is 720 WGN, the strongest AM station in my area, and as you can hear, the AGC is having an issue with that. Laws are in effect and may save your home. Call for closure protection services now at 800 630 1133. Oh, this is cool. 740 CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. It's always a treat to listen to, even on an inexpensive radio. taxes, wealth management, and estate and trust wishes into a holistic tax planning strategy, especially given recent tax law changes. And I think this is 760 Detroit, Michigan, WJR, 270 miles. Learn more at shindelrock.com. Lawrence Technological University is all about opportunities. That sounds bad. <laughs> Doing real world research for top companies. Now I can focus on you, not your shedding. Swiffer Sweeper. 780 WBBM, Chicago. I saved big money with the Progressive Home and Auto Bundle, so I finally bought that new set of golf in style. GM employee pricing is on now at Gus Revenberg Chevrolet Buick GMC. For a limited time, Gus Revenberg Chevrolet invites you to take advantage of employee pricing with 0% financing on most models and lease rates as low as 0.9%. Hurry in before they're gone. For complete details, talk to the team at Gus Revenberg Chevrolet Buick GMC, a member of the Revenberg Automotive family. To come see Road East near Forest Grove Drive. From the anchor desk to the airwaves, CTV Windsor News on AM 800. So there you go, CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles, coming in pretty clear. A woman has been scouring back alley dumpsters, hoping to find a stolen 30 years. Listen to the Daily Zeitgeist on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you listen to podcasts. A Twitter timeout. So here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, coast to coast in the evenings. We're almost done. I'm just going to cruise at the top of the dial. You guys have a basic idea what this thing sounds like on a short wave, medium wave. Again, this thing is a monster on FM. Sounds fantastic. Uh, definitely worth the money for that. <laughs> Get the final thoughts in a second. Misinformation. They also took action. States to 22. Meanwhile, In the spotlight today, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis still hoping to... Now number one for podcasting. And on hundreds... Okay. Top of the dial. Cloudy skies on Wednesday of my 28 Mason Cloud. Look for a northwest wind. Good to go. That's a 5 10. Cloudy Thursday and Friday, highs in the lower 80s. 99 first alert storm team meteorologist Joe Winters on News Talk 1540 KXEL. Currently, 1610 CHHA Toronto. I think we're getting music on 1680 there. All right. Well, that gives you a general idea what the KN Star or KN Star, KN Star sounds cooler, <laughs> RX 608 ACW can do. Thank you again to Lee B for donating this to the channel um, and all its wood grain glory. Yeah, baby. Uh, if I was to use this, yeah, I'm going to use it for an FM radio. I'm just going to use my rechargeable Ds in there and just jam away on the FM. I'm not going to plug this thing in. I'm going to probably toss the AC cord because it's just, yeah. <laughs> It's just not worth the risk, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but there you go. Overall, overall thing for twelve dollars and fifty cents. It's not bad. A de-operated radio for decent FM, shortwave if you need it. I mean, that's a lot of people like to buy like a survival radio or a backup radio, and they want to have shortwave on it, but they want it to be cheap. Well, buy this one because it works. 
you can get your shortwave, you can get up to 22 megahertz, and it starts at 3, so that's fantastic. Um, you can get your medium wave stations, and I'll bet the, the sweet spot on the medium wave is semi-locals, uh, those stations that aren't too strong and not too distant, as you heard. Um, they sound the best. Um, perfect. So that's what, that's what my recommendation is. Yeah, for $12.50, it's it's worth it. Definitely fun to have, fun to tune around with. Uh, you know, it has its quirks, but yeah, loving it. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like inexpensive radios, uh, the FM shortwave AM varieties like this, and you want to see more, just hit subscribe at the bell icon. Um, we, we always get in the band scan sometimes. I don't know if I'll do a band scan with this. Probably not. Get too frustrated. Maybe shortwave. Who knows? During the day, I didn't get much, but evening was just crowded. Absolutely crowded. Um, excellent. And then of course, three, comment below. We think about the KN Star, the RX 608 ACW, FM shortwave AM radio, or however you want to say that, <laughs> um, world receiver. Let me know what you guys think. All right. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.